Hello, my name is Mark. Welcome to another one of my 2016 Tab Max, Max S trailer upgrade uh, videos. Uh, you probably recognize what this is. This is a Lagoon table. Um, the hardware for it, I ordered it online a couple days ago. It arrived today. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little quick unboxing, show you what, for those of you that haven't seen one of these, um, what it's all about. Um, comes with all the hardware you need, um, the mount, side mount. Ah, it's hard to do this one hand. A piece of wood is a backer. Now this uh, wood um, I probably won't need because you'll see in a minute where I'm going to mount this. is has got uh, two by four supports in the back, so I don't think I'll need that. But And then you get a set of instructions. But um, pretty, pretty straightforward here. The table mounts like that. This mounts on the side wall. This is the vertical support to that horizontal support. Really cool. Let's get out of the trailer, show you where we're going to mount it. Okay, everyone, here we are in the trailer. That is the Lagoon Table Assembly. Um, that's the mount, and that mount is going to go right here. And the nice part about the 2015, look at the supports here. This table, or the back, uh, back bench, is supported by a really nice 2x4 frame assembly. So that as I take this, take this support off, it will go right onto that frame just fine. I am, however, going to have to put a block of wood out here because you see that the, the lip of the bench sticks out about two inches past this wood. So I'm going to get a nice piece of wood and basically mount that right there out away from the bench so that the table can uh, slide up and down. Should work out just fine. Let me go cut some wood and we'll start work on it. See you in a bit. Okay, here we're back in the trailer. I've cut the blocks of wood, a couple of pieces of reasonably clear pine. I'm going to mount them there, mount this there, and that'll give it the clearance that I need so it's not going to mess with the cushions. Piece of cake. Oh, one thing I want to note here, um, when you mount this table up here, it's important that it be vertical right? And I've seen a lot of people put levels on it and stuff, but don't do that. You're, unless you know that your floor is exactly level, putting a level on the table will make sure it's, it's a lean. So when you're going to go ahead and put these blocks down, go ahead and use a square and make it straight up and down to your floor, right? Make it perpendicular to the floor that way. That way that uh, if your floor is out of level, your table's not always out of level after that. So I'm going to go ahead and screw these on, connect this together, and get that mounted. See you in a bit. Well, here we are back. Look at that. It mounts just fine. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, varnish on that those that pine block that I made. I'll make it match the, the, ex the interior here. But I am flat out amazed at this. Um, it is expensive, but I think it's worth every penny. If you look at how this can operate now, we can put that table anywhere, anywhere we want to go. And if you've got any concerns about this thing not being stable, I mean, that is amazing. As long as you get this down here mounted solidly to something, that table is not going anywhere, but just awesome. So that lever... We'll adjust up and down. So if we need to raise this table up and down, this locks it in place and this stops it from swiveling. But that is flat out. I love it. Amazing. So now I'm going to get a piece of cardboard and put here and sort of mock up a table so we can figure out what shape and what size we table. We what shape and size table we wanted here. But that's awesome. That is just totally awesome. You sit anywhere you want. Have a table anywhere you want, and if you want it, if you want it completely out of here, just lift that lever, and this whole thing slides out. The block stays behind. But awesome! We'll see you next time.